Yo, what's up, YouTube family? Welcome back. As you can see in the thumbnail, we're going to be creating a menu with the center logo, and it's going to have a drop down menu on the left of the logo. Now, this will apply if you want to have one on the right of the logo as well, but for this example, we'll do one on the left. Now, there's a lot of great tutorials online that I saw. Um, it really got me a great head start on wanting to um, create a menu like this, um, but the only addition is I wanted to have a drop down menu on one of the sides again, in this case being the left side. So. I'll walk you through those steps. We'll kind of break down a little bit of the CSS and then go from there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Also, do me a favor if you would. If you find the video helpful, be sure to comment for the algorithms. Give it a like, subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. All right, so as you can see on the screen, again, this is the, uh, the ending effect. This is what we're trying to go for. This is what we want to accomplish with this. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now, First thing we want to do is you want to go to, uh, in the back end, we want to create a menu. We want to create a menu for um, the, the navigation that we're doing. So in this case, I have one created. I called it center menu. So if you don't have one already created, you're going to create one. And in this menu, what you want to do is you want to have um, the two items that are, that are going to be on the left. So in my case, I have home services, and then I have my, my sub menu items. And then the middle one, you need to have one go to custom links. You can do forward slash and then the link text, just type in logo. So logo should be your middle one. And we're going to swap this out with your actual logo. Um, so you put that forward slash in there, of course. So that way, when people click on that logo, it'll take them back to the home page. And then you have your two items that are going to be on the right side. So in my case, I have about us and contact us. So here is the final menu. Once you have that created, go ahead and click save menu. Right here down at the bottom save the menu and then we'll move over to hover over oxygen and click on the templates now i just created one it's called i named mine wp center logo you can do the catch-all on that or whatever you however you want to do it um, but just create that and then we will go in edit it with oxygen so let me open that up in another tab all right boom so i have just a header here um, and then there's no navigation. So let's go ahead and start building out that navigation. Now, what we want to do is we can click on the plus. We're going to do a header builder. And you'll probably need to drag that up top. I don't know why it always does that. Anyways, we drag that up to the top. And in the header row, of course, there's the left, the center, and the right. We want to just add in a menu and bring it to the center. So let's go click add. We need a menu. And as we can see, the menu popped over to the left. Again, we want to drag that in the center. I'm going to try to make this as simple and as, as quick as possible. I don't want to drag the video out um, too long. All right, so let's go ahead and give that a save. Again, I always like to just save and just check, check in on it, make sure everything is all good. So do that. All right, here goes our menu up there. Perfect. So the goal is to take this logo, swap that out with our actual logo. Um, so let's go back over to this. And what we want to do is create a style sheet. If you don't have one, create one. So I have one created. It's called main styles. You name it, whatever. And we're going to start putting some code in here. Actually, first, let's let's go ahead and I'm going to I'm going to change the, the, the color and the fonts to this. I already have some stuff that I wanted to, to do with this font. So. In my case, I'm going to go with Montserrat. I'm going to do 13. I have a global color already in here. It's a blue color. The font weight, uh, I'm going to do 500. Letter spacing, I'm going to do 2. All right, now let's do uppercase. Okay, so let me save that. Here. All right, cool. All right, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and put some some CSS in here to remove the logo. So click back on main styles. Now, first off, we need to get to, if we, we want to target this navigation. So let's find the common name, this class name for the navigation. So if I go over here, right click and I inspect. Um, actually, let me put this to where y'all can see it on my screen. OK, 
that's not attaching to the bottom. I want to make sure y'all can see that. Y'all can see where I'm coming from. All right. Okay, so we want to get the CSS to this up here. So I inspect it. We need the nav. So here's the nav right here. It has an ID of nav menu 1398. Um, it has a class oxy nav menu. So that's what we want to target. Oxy nav menu. Let's target that. So let's close out of that. So we go back to our CSS. We can go oxy nav menu. And then we need the with WordPress, there's always different menu items for, um, and it'll have a number at the end. So let's find out what the menu item is for logo. So if we hover over logo, we inspect it. It says it is menu item 91. So now we want to take, go back, menu item 91. So now we're targeting the nav menu. Inside the nav menu, we want to target that menu item, and we want the A. We want the link. So in that link, what we want to do is we want to set it, give it a background. So for example, let's say we took background color. We did red, right? So it's, it changes red. So now we have this red. Let's save it and take a look and see what's, what's on the front. Okay, now it's red. So how do we remove the actual text logo? Well, we can use, let's see, we can use a text uh, text indent and you can give this let's say let's give it a test give it like 15 let's go yeah, let's do 15 M and so it's moving it to the right now if you do negative it'll move it to the left so let's say you did negative now it's gone but it's to the it's it's somewhere in there it's like it's inside of the home so you want to give this a negative high value so that it moves completely off the screen for good so we don't see it anymore so you can just go like I just give it some ridiculous you know what I mean it doesn't matter and now it's completely gone so let's save that take a look on the front end okay perfect now that's gone now we know in CSS with the instead of using a background color Let's just give it a background. That way we can add our image in there, which our image is going to be our logo. So we can do background, do the URL, and then, and then the URL. You want to put the URL of uh, the URL of your your uh, logo. So in my case, if I go back to my media library, there's a file URL down here for this logo. So I'm going to copy this, go back over to our, our style sheet, and I'm going to paste that in there. And then after this, we can do like no, no repeat, and we can do center. All right. So now we have our logo in there. We have the text replaced. So the next thing we can do is give it a background size. And let's say if we did cover, if we did cover, it's going to cover that, that little space that this link is. Because again, if we save this and look on the front end, let's take a look. If we save this, you see the width of this? So we're covering the logo in just this width. So ultimately what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to widen the width of this menu item. Therefore, our logo can fully show. But for now, let's change that. We're going to change this to contain. So now if we do contain, we save that, we go back to the front end, there's our logo right there. And then we can give it a height of 100%. All right, perfect. So we have that, we now have our logo in there. The next thing we wanna do again, like I said, is we wanna give that width, widen that out a little bit. So how can we do that? Well, let's copy those styles that we have here, except for the A. So let's copy those class names paste that in and we want to give it a width uh, we can do 400 pixels and let's save it so now if I go back there we go we're 
basically there. I mean, if you, if you're if you're a client, if you're making this for yourself or you're making it for a client, if your client is is satisfied with it looking like that, um, I personally, of course, would remove the the hover effect on this and then maybe make this just a little bit uh, bigger. But hey, to each his own. If that looks good to you, then you're ready to roll right there. I would definitely remove the hover styles though. Um, but this is this is good. So let's change those hover styles. How do we do that? Well, you can, again use the same same ones we've been using. The same class names, and then we can do um, let's do hover. Okay, and then we want to do the background first. Change the background color. I want to change that to transparent. And then probably need to add an important class. And also we want to remove that border. So we can do border nine. All right, let's see if that works. Okay. So now that's gone. So let's see what's left. What do we need to do? Um, okay, what can be another option if you want to say you want to make the uh, you want to make the the logo bigger? So in that case, all we would need to do is target the actual um, list item, the menu items. So if you want to target those menu items, we can use the Oxy menu. Because some people may say, hey, that looks good, but I want my logo to actually be bigger. How do we control the, the logo? Well, we need to get into inside the nav, the list, the, the list, the menu list. So let's see what the class name is for that. So the LI, the UL, I'm sorry. It's the Oxy nav menu list. So now let's target that. list and then we want the menu item and we can do height let's do like if you did height 500 pixels see it went like that so I would do like a hundred pixels made it bigger and then let's save it all right that's that's perfect okay but now as we can see these are stuck up here. We want that to kind of be centered. Now, you would need to target these separate menu items. Just how we targeted this logo, how this had an ID of 91, menu item 91. You need to find the menu item numbers for each of these. And then I personally just use CSS to give it a, um, a percentage of margin up top. So that would look like this right here. So I have this copied out and I'm gonna paste it in here. So there's four menu items. There's question marks because we need to figure out what the numbers of them are, but you can give it a height and then a margin top. This number right here, this is going to be the margin top. The percentage is really going to be dependent on your style of logo. So if it's like this, if it's a, um, a, a horizontal logo or whether it's a horizontal or a vertical logo, there's going to be different percentages. It depends on what your logo looks like. So that will change. You're going to have to experiment with this, this number right here, this margin top. You have to experiment with that. Um, based off of your logo. So let's go ahead and put and find the menu, the numbers for these four items. So if we look at home, that's menu number 86, 87, we don't need that one, 92 and 93. So 86, 87, 92, and 93. So if I go here and I do 86, 87, 92 and 93 so margin top 15 you can do two two and give it a height of 50 pixels and what the height is doing let's save this first if you don't add the height in there then you see the gray box around here it's going to be a lot bigger than that but anyways let's save this and it moved down to the center 
Well, the next issue is if you have a if you're using the drop down, which I'm sure you are, that's why that's what this video is about the drop down. Um, if you're using this drop down now, these are all spaced out. So how do we change the spacing within that? Well, we need to go into the sub menu. This is the sub menu. So figure out what the class for that is. So inspect it. This is class of sub menu. So we need inside the sub menu. There are li items. There's list items inside the unordered list. So target the sub menu and the li inside the sub menu. So we go back to our style sheet. We can do sub menu li, and then give it a height. Give it a height of whatever you want, pixels, and then use important. So for right now, it looks like this. Let's just, let's say we want 50. So we want 50 pixels, and there you go. We can save that. Go back over here, refresh, and there it is. So that's it. That's all we need to do. So this is it's we're done now. This is it. All you need to do now is you can either use the oxygen tools. So let's get out of there. Use the um the oxygen tools to make it responsive. In my case, I actually needed this type of style uh, um, header for a client, and they were very basic. So they just wanted it to be like this, and then on mobile as well as on tablet, they just wanted the logo on the left side and a hamburger menu on the right. So really, in in my case, all I needed to do was just I simply just made another menu, made another menu, and then hid this menu on those other devices. Now, if yours is a little bit more complicated, then um, and you're not able to use these for all the breakpoints, then of course you would need to write some CSS, write some, write your own uh, media queries for the specific breakpoints that you need. But other than that, that's it, guys. This is how we create a centered menu, a centered logo with a drop-down menu on either the left or the right side. So again, I hope you all appreciated it. It was helpful. If so, again, please make sure to leave a comment for the algorithms, like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.